Hey there, my name is Baron. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to edit 4K footage in a 4K project and how to share a 4K video. Okay, so we have successfully edited a 4K video montage as a 1080p file. So that was quite fun. We got to reframe, recompose, rescale our images. Now what if it is a 4K file? They are 4K videos and we edit them on a 4K timeline. Let's do that now. Let's go to File menu and go to New Project. Okay, I'll call this Video Montage 4K. So, next is, um, right, early on we were using 1080. Now we're going to do 4K at 25 frames per second. So, I'll click OK. And the project has launched. So, I will select my video files, same as before. So, I've already set my in and out points for this first clip. So, I'll click on it and press W to insert it into my primary storyline. I'll do that, but let me zoom in, Command Plus. Let's have a look. Okay, I brought in the audio as well. I don't want to bring in the audio, so I will click on the file again and I will go down here and select video only. So I'll press W again. Okay, so we've got the video without the audio and I've set my in and out points for this clip. So I'll press W to send it there. And let's see what other clips do I have. I've got this clip. I'll press W and I've got a monkey, monkey and child. W, the little monkey over there. I'll click on that. I'll press W. Okay, now let's have a look at our videos. Now I'm going to play it back. Okay, it's jerking a little bit, but that's all right. We'll sort that out later. Okay, now let's have a look at this file. Remember, we zoomed in as she's preparing to blow the bubbles. We zoomed in. Um, also, this file, remember this video? Um, we did a bit of zoom in earlier. Okay, so let's, let's see if we can do that. We'll go over to our inspector and go all the way down to spatial conform. And instead of fit, we go to none. Let's see what happened to the image. Nothing has happened. That's because you are already editing a 4K file in a 4K screen. So if I were to zoom out over here, I'll zoom out. Okay, now this is your 4K screen. Okay, I will select the image, I'll click on it and press my transform. Look at that. I'll just zoom in a little bit. That's it. It's just fitting, right? Unlike a 1080, which is much smaller, a 1080 screen is much smaller. So this is a full-fledged 4K screen and you're editing a 4K video on it. So there's no way you can zoom unless you're prepared to lose a bit of resolution. So this, this file, let me fit this to window. This video file here is already at 100%. So if I were to do a 120%, you will notice the image will start to suffer. It will start to look blur. And it's just not really feasible to do things like this to scale up an image. Okay, so I will have to keep it down to 100%. And I'll have to set my coordinates back to zero. So there you go. So uh, when it comes to rescaling, reframing, you can't do that when you're editing a 4K video on a 4K project or a 4K screen. We can add a music clip into it. Where is my music? There you go. So I'll just put my music in by pressing Q. Okay, let's have a watch. Okay, it's very similar to the one we did for the 1080p. So next, I'm going to just um, cut off the music here. 
I'm going to add a fade in. Oh, sorry, a fade out. I'm going to go to the home and I'm going to add a fade in. I'm going to add a cross dissolve to the front of the video so it doesn't cut in from black. It fades in from black and fades off to black. Okay. Right now, I will press my space bar to play back my video montage. Let's see what happens. Oh, great! My footage can't play back smoothly on my Mac. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that good? Because it gives me a chance to explain to you how to use proxy to play back your 4K footage if it's not playing back smoothly on your Mac. Um, one of the reasons is maybe because your computer is a little bit slower. It can't really play back 4K footage smoothly. So what you can do to solve this is go over to your view tab over here and click on proxy. And then when you do a playback of your 4K footage on maybe a slower Mac, you will notice that it's playing back much smoother. And uh, we've actually got a tutorial on how to use proxy uh, so that you can play back higher resolution footage on a slower computer. Okay, this is great. Look at that. Well, we're not done just yet because no video montage is really complete without some video titles. So I'll show you really quickly how to get some video titles up and running. Now I'll go on to my transitions browser over here. I'll click on the text. What I'll do is I'll select something that is um, a little bit simpler. Um, let's go for drifting. Okay, under the build in and out, you can go for drifting. So this is a template already that comes with Final Cut Pro 10. So I'll just click on that and drag it onto one of my video clips over here. Uh, where does my title come in from? Well, maybe not at the start over here. This seems like a long clip. So let's drag this in. Okay, um, let's click on this, right? And then we will double click on one of the words over here. Just double click or you can click and highlight. Okay, that will bring us to the inspector tab. Okay, I will select this title and call it my summer. And then the next one, I'll select it and say vacation. Alright, so, well, maybe we'd like to select all of them. Command A. Okay, just select this one. And uh, let's choose a color. So we'll go on to face, click on show, and there's a color here. So I'll click on this and maybe I'll choose something orangey to show that it's to signify summer, to symbolize summer. Now if I like this color, I'd like it to I like this color to be added onto all my other tags. I can click on this color and put it on one of the swatches over here so that um, I don't have to you know select the colors again. Uh, so that it will be consistent with the rest of my text. Okay, when that is done, um, let's see. I'll select this again. Maybe I'd like to create a drop shadow. So I'll click on show drop shadow. Now let's see. Um, let's say I'd like the distance of the shadow to be further away. Let's like now. And I'd like to blur the shadow a little bit. Okay, so let's just remember that's 2.5 for blur. Distance is 25. So okay, vacation. I will select a color uh, for the face. So I click show and then I'll say, okay, so the swatch is here already. I'll click on it, close this, close it. And then let's go on to my drop shadow. That was 2.5 as the blur, 2.5. And the distance was 25. Was it right? 25. Okay, there we go. So let's have a play and see what happens. A summer vacation. This is great. Maybe a little bit too long, but we'll leave it as that. And then it goes away. And there you go. Nice. Okay, so very quickly now, I will go through my video montage and I notice there are a lot of clips over here. They are too long. I'll just shorten it really quick. Command Shift A to deselect everything first. Yeah, Command Shift A, deselect everything. Move every move the schema all the way to the front and let's play it back. This looks good. 
this looks good a little bit too long maybe okay so i will shorten this by um, clicking alternate right bracket to shorten it and play okay maybe the front is a little bit too long so alternate left bracket it'll be great if you can actually select the clip before you do the trimming shortcut but whatever if it works okay now let's go on my summer vacation okay i think that's it so we will shorten this by clicking alternate right bracket and my text don't have to be that long so okay there was a camera jerk over here yeah wasn't so stable so i will start the in point from here alternate left bracket if you notice right let me undo that um, between the playhead and the schema when you do an alternate left bracket to trim it will prioritize the schema so it doesn't matter where your playhead is the trimming will occur at the schema so alternate left bracket and then play it back too long still alternate left bracket now let's play it back no no too long so we will start from over here okay okay alternate right bracket and i think we've got it there you go so i will trim the music down as well uh, over here i'll select the music track move my schema here trim it down so i think i got it so let's play it back got a fade in she's running in and then on the third clip you have the video titles very nice video title and then the video title goes off and then we have a clip of the monkey and then next we have the clip of the child looking good looking good so that was a really short really interesting video montage don't make the clips too long maybe about on average uh, three seconds per clip that would make things more interesting now let's say i'd like to add in another shot how do i do that okay let's go and select a new shot now let's i think this will be the last thing we do before we go on to the sharing of the 4k video oh look, look at that this is a, a good clip to end this video montage with so i will select my in point by clicking i pressing i play and there we go and space bar to pause and press o uh, to set the out point now i like this clip to be inserted at the end of this video montage now i don't have to drag anything i just have to press e i'll press e to append it at the end or you can select this uh, button over here so i'll press e and it goes all the way to the end and maybe i'd like to add in a dissolve so i'll go to my uh, transitions browser select a dissolve and notice i've added in audio as well so i don't want that audio so i'll click on this clip i'll go to my audio tab in the inspector and i'll take away the audio then i will drag the music track further down make it longer a little bit okay i'm done so i will move my plate all the way to the front and let's play back Okay, one last thing, one last thing. Um, let's say I like once one let's say I like a video title all the way at the end. So I don't have to go to my text to select a new template. All I need to do is to hold down my alternate key and click and drag my title so that it will copy it over to the end. Okay. So I've just copied a video title over by clicking, holding down the alternate key and dragging. So let's say, now with that selected, I will double click and say, thanks for watching. Okay, maybe a small letter W. Okay, we're done there. So, um, now let's click on this and let's see if we can make everything smaller by selecting this. Uh, let's say we go for instead of 198, let's say 100. 
thanks for and this one also 100 maybe let's move this closer in okay now let's play it back okay so let's drag the text a little bit further away and my music track so let's play it back here. okay shorten it a little bit and then play it back okay shorten the music track and there you go folks we're done with this uh, video tutorial on how to make a video montage next we will learn how to share this 4k video montage with the rest of the world Well, that's it for this lesson. My name is Baron. There will be an interactive menu coming up for you to select a lesson that you'd like to follow. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next episode.